Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we are going to be making a filament dry box. And what is that? That is basically a nice container to where we can store our open spools. Because filament can absorb moisture, and when it absorbs moisture, I... Uh, it sucks. Because then all of your prints become super stringy because it's heating up that moisture into steam inside the nozzle and there's nowhere else for it to go besides through the nozzle. And then it causes popping and it strings everywhere on your prints. It's just terrible. And you end up having to throw away your spool of filament. So this is an amazing way for you to store all of those open spools and get them off your shelf and get them in this box and get them dry and keep them dry. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so first you're going to need a few supplies. And everything I'm using in this video, I'll go ahead and put it in the link to the description. What I'm using is a 54 quart container with a seal on it. It is a wonderful size container. I can get it to hold up to 15 spools of my filament. And I will say it's not like full spools. Like I do have quite a few that have like just a little bit on it and I'm able to stack them in a certain way. And 15 spools though, I can get in there. But that, I would say that is your absolute max. If you have all full spools, I would say you can comfortably get 10, 11 spools in there. The next thing you're going to need is a humidity gauge. Now, I bought these in a four pack and it was under $10. These things are cheap. This actually has your humidity really big and then small, it tells you what the temperature is. These are really great. All right, so the next thing you're going to need is desiccant. And if you're not familiar with what desiccant is, it's this stuff that's right in here that comes in every single spool of filament. Now, you can save those packs and just throw them in the bin. Now, I have a lot of these because every single spool I just throw them in, in the bottom of my container. And I've been doing that for my old box for a very long time until I found this other thing. So this is the Eva Dry. It is a renewable dehumidifier and it's small and compact and what it's full of is desiccant so all it has is desiccant in it and it's all orange in this little window right here but when it actually gets saturated enough the little beads turn green and all you have to do when the beads turn green is you flip this little thing out right here and plug it into the wall and i usually let it go for a couple hours and then come back check it and all the beads are orange again. And I just throw it right back into my box. So all you gotta do is get you some type of desiccant, some way to remove the moisture out of your sealed box. I recommend this, but you can just save all of your silica gel packs because this is desiccant too. But the only thing about this is once these get completely saturated, they're pretty much junk. And there's really no way to know when they actually are fully saturated. But this, there's a way to tell. That's why I like this. But I, I've used this for a long time before I found this guy. And I even have my family trained to where if they open a package and it's got some silica gel in it, they run it downstairs and throw it in my bin. That's the beauty of it. You just got to train your family or your roommates or whoever it might be Because you'd be shocked once you start looking you're gonna find these things in every single thing you get Now the two tools that I'm going to be using for this is a utility knife with a very sharp blade And then I'm also using my soldering iron because I like my soldering iron and I like to just melt through plastic Sorry so let's just jump over to the box and I'll show you the super simple process that I'm going to go through. This is honestly super easy. So what I have here is a sealing 54 quart container. And the nice thing is if I undo this, you can see it actually has a seal on it. So it's not watertight, but it is airtight with this. So when I clamp it down, it gets a really nice seal. I went ahead and traced a little square the same size as this 
and I'm actually just going to use my soldering iron because I know I'll probably break this brittle plastic using a utility knife, but I'll have to score it a bunch of times, and I know this will just melt through it, and I can get a pretty clean edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and melt this and cut this out. Alright, so just clean it up with my utility knife. Alright, so that's a nice tight fit, so I'm going to go ahead and get that snapped in. And there we go. So now, that is a good fit. So you see right there, it's just sticking outside of the lid or it's sticking on the inside of the lid right here, raised up, and when you put it on, right there, so we got an easy read on it. And then when this seals up, we'll be good. Now I'm not concerned by if the little tiny cracks right here, you could get some silicone or some caulking and seal this if you really wanted to, even on the other side, but I don't really need this to be 100% airtight. I'm not trying to create a vacuum. I'm just trying to keep an area to where moisture can't easily get to my filament. And now I can easily read what the humidity is. So now I'm ready to put my filament spools right in here. And then I'm going to take my Eva Dry and go ahead and put it in there right in the middle. Keep that closed. And there we go. So now I have this nice dry box, super easy. Got my humidity gauge on here with my dehumidifier in there to absorb any type of moisture in there to make sure it's as dry as possible. Alright, so that is how you make a dry box. This is a super short and easy video, but it is something that is invaluable to have. I strongly recommend everybody trying to create some type of dry box. Maybe not something just like this, but even if you have something with a lid on it that closes pretty good and you're throwing those silica packs in there, at least that's something and you're trying to keep a barrier away from just the, you know, air around it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And other than that, I just wish you a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. You still watching?